Hey, what's up everyone? It's Leo here again, and as you guys might have noticed, I'm not an English speaker, I'm from Brazil, but I'll try my best though to make another video on Rainbow Six Siege. Today, during the ESL Pro League Finals, we finally got all the details confirmed on the Japanese DLC called Operation Red Crow. We got a lot of details on the new skyscraper map. It's like a Japanese temple whose location is on top of a high building. The design looks incredible and the invited guests who already played the map said that this map is really well balanced. It's not like Favela, for example, which is super destructible. This map will require a little bit of more development during the gameplay. So far, I can tell that I really enjoyed, but let's see how it will be played in the future. The operators were reviewed but the gameplay will be only showed tomorrow in a live gameplay demo. So far, the loadouts were confirmed. Hibena's special gadget will be this isothermic gun, able to open murder holes in the reinforced walls. And they will not be super big, so Thermite keeps being a necessary character for the game. Her ability will change the game meta though. She is a high speed and low armor operator like Ash, for example. She will have a claymore and a stun grenade. As primary gun, a Hoa Type 89, which is a Japanese version of the M4 assault rifle. She also has a Supernova Benelli pump action shotgun. As secondary guns, it's also available a P229 pistol and a SMG PM9. But this one here will not have the ACOG on. It's very important because it will not be super OP. The Defender Echo will have a flying drone as a special ability. It can be only used by Echo and this equipment cannot spot enemies. Echo will need to give direction to his teammates though. His drone will also have the capacity to disorientate enemies at close range so Echo is more a support character, that's why he's only one speed and three armor operator, as Rook and Doc for example. In his loadout, no nitro cell, only barbed wire and deployable shield. He will have a MP5 DS4, which is a variation of the Rook and Doc MP5, but compact, probably with a higher fire rate as Bandit MP7, with a little bit of recoil and less damage. He also will have the Benelli Supernova pump action shotgun and a P229 pistol and the SMG PM9 with no ACOG available. Along with the new map and the Japanese operators, this new upcoming patch will introduce the caliber destruction. Depending on the caliber size, it will affect the destruction on the walls. Of course, small guns will cause less damage than assault rifles. Here we have some demonstration of the difference between small and large calibers. The operators will finally get new outfits. It probably will cost a lot of renowns, but they look sick, I really enjoyed this. We can also see a new MVP animation at the end of the round, so here we have Capcan. This is the new Sledge uniform, <laughs> looks cool. And finally, Thermide, pretty sick. The other uniforms we need to wait till the next update. The Ubisoft already announced that the mid-season pack will bring a new map, it's incredible, the University. It was a single-player map, but it has been redesigned for a PvP action. And this will be the biggest map in the game. The good point is, we won't have to face that yellow fog that it was in the single player mode, thanks God. Well, that's it for today's video. Tomorrow, I will bring you guys uh, the Operator's gameplay. And till the end of this week, I promise you that I'll make my Operator's review with my thoughts on them, okay? So have a good one, and bye amigos.